dear learners welcome to today's topic of discussion homeopathy or homeopathic system of medicine learning outcomes are outline the development of homeopathic system of medicine explain basic principle and concept of homeopathy list different homeopathic medicine analyze the method of evaluation of homeopathic medicine or formulation homeopathy or homeopathic system of medicine is an alternative system of medicine in india and considered as one of the important uh, system of medicine under ayush ayush actually the term ayush means life span uh, that is also acronym of uh, ayurveda yoga unani siddha and homeopathy so this is considered as indian system of medicine and homeopathy and nowadays swarik for the himalayan traditional medicine is also included under this ayush so what actually ayush is ayush is the ministry uh, which is uh, which was actually formed on 9th november 2014 to ensure the optimal development and propagation of this indigenous system of medicine uh, in healthcare earlier it was uh, known as department of indian system of medicine or ism and homeopathy Uh, which was created in march 1995 and again renamed as department of ayurveda uh, yoga naturopathy unani siddha and homeopathy in november 2003 so in 2014 that was introduced as uh, ministry separate ministry with focus attention for development of education research in ayurveda yoga and naturopathy unani siddha homeopathy and swarika homeopathic system of medicine actually a recognized medical system in india uh, through homeopathic central council act 1973 the system has blended well into the ethos and tradition of the country that it has been recognized as one of the national system of medicine so it is well recognized and uh, accepted system of uh, medicine in india but for other countries that regulations are variable in some countries that are uh, accepted system of medicine alternative medicine in some countries that is not in next section uh, we will be discussing on the development of homeopathic system of medicine in short and the history of homeopathic system of medicine in india homeopathic system of medicine is actually discovered and developed or and initiated by Christian Frederick Samuel Hahnemann Dr Samuel Hahnemann was a qualified physician as well as an expert linguist and chemist He was uh, respected by his contemporaries and his papers on medicine and chemistry reflected his industrious nature overall he also something of an idealist after practicing long year allopathic system of medicine as a physician he came to disapprove of the method of medicine as practiced at that time that time he believed that the widespread use of uh, use of purgative bloodletting use of leeches for bloodletting 
considered as a black art of healing. So that time he decided it was the time for medicine to return to the first earlier that the cause of disease may also be its remedy. So the cause of disease may also be its remedy. Very important fundamental of uh, homeopathic system of medicine. And more importantly, he also uh, considered the medicine above all do not harm. The system of medicine, homeopathic system of medicine, derived from two Greek words. One is homeos. Homeos means like or similar, and pathos means suffering or treatment. Pathos, so suffering. So basically, uh, this derived from the homeos and pathos, similar suffering. Homeopathy can be defined as a dynamic, holistic, vitalistic system of individualistic drug therapeutic based on the law of similars potentially capable to cure diseases that are curable and relieve symptoms of incurable nature. So we will discuss about this uh, definition when we will be discussing on the uh, principle of homeopathy where we can find uh, this type of term that is dynamization, uh, holistic approach, vitalistic theory, uh, law of proving, law of similaries. So why uh, and when uh, Dr. Hanneman developed this system of medicine. It had been while translating a report, uh, Treatise on Materia Medica produced by Scottish physician Professor William Cullen on the action of Peruvian Cinchona Bark. Cinchona Bark, you know that is a uh, remedy for uh, malarial fever or intermittent fever and it is the source of quinine medicine in the treatment of malaria. That time Hanneman was stimulated to investigate his different approach to curing. He disagreed with Coulomb's observation and decided to examine for himself the effects of taking Shinkuna. So what he did in 1790, Hanneman checked the effect of antimalarial drug Shinkona in his own healthy body. Very fascinating experiment. And after taking this malaria, uh, sorry, after taking this Shinkona bark, surprisingly, he found that the shinkona bark induced symptoms identical to this malaria. Symptom of this intermittent fever, that time intermittent fever was quite popular than malaria, or developed in his healthy body and disappeared on this continuation of this treatment. Very surprising discovery. This leads Hanneman to an idea which was published in 1796 as a essay on new principle for asserting the curative power of drugs, which was followed in 1810 by his famous work Organon of Medicine or Organon of Healing Art. And that is the starting of the journey of homeopathic system of medicine. Hanneman also with the help of his friends and colleagues, he said to examine the effect of 
wide range of plant, animals, mineral extract in this way. And the results were published in Organon of Medicine. Uh, the first edition appeared in 1810, I just mentioned. And Hanneman continued his work. He revised and extended the Organon. Uh, the sixth and final edition was completed shortly before his death and published posthumously in 1843. Next section will be talk on uh, the homeopathy in India. India welcome homeopathy in, by early 19th century because that time India was considered as a satellite of uh, British uh, emperor and jo Johann Martin Honig Berger 1795-1869 an Austrian physician botanist and the physician of the Punjab during the reign of Maharaja Ranjit Singh Ji claimed in his book entitled 35 years in the East adventures discoveries experiments historical sketch sterilating uh, sterilating uh, to Punjab and Kashmir in connection with medicine botany pharmacy etc together with original materia medica and the medical vocabulary in four European and five Eastern language published from uh, London in 1852. So, he introduced, Honi Berger introduced this homeopathic method of medicine in India in 1839. In middle of 19th century, when homeopathy was gaining its popularity, then uh, in eastern India in Kolkata, the landlord Babu Rajendralal Dotto came forward to support for homeopathy. And he set up a uh, native homeopathic hospital and free dispensary uh, for different places, mainly the dispensaries. 16 February 1863, uh, is the memorable day in history of homeopathy in India. That time, well-known physician Mohandralal Sharkar officially declared um, about his conviction on homeopathic system of medicine. Within one year he, of joining this homeopathy, he published his homeopathic journal of Asia, uh, the Calcutta Journal of Medicine in January 1868. And he was considered one of the remarkable personality um, in that time. In 1867, Mr. Ironside also established the first homeopathic hospital in Benares. Uh, Pratap Chandra Mojumdar associated with the M. M. Bosch and D. N. Roy also established the Calcutta School of Homeopathy, later that was considered as the Calcutta Homeopathic Medical College. Now the homeopathic medicine is recognized medical system in India through the Homeopathic Central Council Act under 1973. Uh, consequent to the intention and action of the central government uh, on 10th December 1975, National Institute of Homeopathy was established. And now the homeopathy is one of the important system of medicine under the Ministry of Ayush. The next part will be discussing on the basic principle of homeopathy.